Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. For this debugging video, I thought we would go over one of the most common and most basic errors that can occur in your C-sharp code. And this error that I'm talking about is the expected semicolon error. Now, as you know, with C-sharp code, each line of code that isn't a function or a for loop or an if statement, just a basic line of code, requires that there is a semicolon at the end of the line. And so we're going to talk about the error that you get in your console window when you forget to put a semicolon at the end of each line. All right, so here I have one of my projects open within Unity, and currently I'm receiving this error within our console window. And the error that we're receiving is a semicolon expected error. Now this is probably one of the most common errors that people receive when coding in languages like C, C++, and C Sharp. And the reason why it's so common is because a lot of times people just forget to put a semicolon at the end of a line. Now first off, if you don't have your console open, just a reminder of how to get to your console window. You go to the Windows drop down menu and the option down at the bottom is the console option. When you select this, it might pop up as a window and you can anchor it to somewhere in your workstation by grabbing the little console tag and dragging it around. Now let's talk a little bit more about this specific error. The semicolon expected error is what's called a compiler error. This is an error that occurs before the game has started playing. So the compiler runs through your code and when it finds an error that it doesn't like, it'll tell you about that error before you've even started to play your game. And because you get a compiler error, it makes it so that you can't even start to play your game. When I click the play button, it says all compiler errors have to be fixed before you can enter play mode. And so this is a compiler error that we're getting. And so in order to play our game, we have to fix this error first. And more specifically, this error is what's called a syntax error because it actually deals with the syntax of our code. If you don't know what the word syntax means, syntax basically means the rules of your coding language. And so because every line of code requires a semicolon at the end, if you don't obey that rule, then you're disobeying the syntax of your coding language. Now let's look at the actual error that we're receiving in the console window. So this first part of the error message that we're receiving that says assets slash script slash ground dot CS, that's the actual script that this error is occurring in. So it's occurring in our grounds.cs script. The second part, these two numbers in parentheses, is the line and position on that line that the error is occurring. So it's occurring on line 40 and at position 9. So from left to right. If you count 9 spaces over, that's where the error will be occurring. Now this third part, this error CS1000, is the code that represents the actual error that we're receiving. So if you were to search the CS1002, you would actually receive documentation about how to fix the error that we're receiving, which is the semicolon expected. And this last part of our error message, the semicolon expected, is the description for the error that we're receiving. And so this is what we can read and understand. So it's just telling us that we need to add a semicolon somewhere within our script. Now the cool thing about the console window inside of Unity is that anytime you're receiving a compiler error, such as the one we have, all you have to do is double click on the error message in the console window and it'll take you right to the script where it is occurring. Now with this particular error, it's actually directing us to the very next symbol after where it expects the semicolon. And so if you remember the line number and the position, it was line 40 and position 9. And so currently this closing bracket of our if statement is on line 40. And if we were to count the spaces from left to right, there will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 spaces and the ninth is the closing bracket. Now the reason why it's telling us that the error is located right here is because the compiler is expecting a semicolon, but when it doesn't have a semicolon where it thinks it should, it's going to the very next symbol and telling us that that's 
where the error is occurring. Now the reason why it's telling us that the error is located right here is because the compiler is expecting a semicolon, but when it doesn't have a semicolon where it thinks it should, it's going to the very next symbol and telling us that that's where the error is occurring. There the red squiggly line goes away, and if we were to save this script and go back to Unity, you can see that our error message will disappear. And there we go. We've now fixed the semicolon expected error. So that concludes this video on the semicolon expected error message that you can receive in your console. Now remember that leaving off a semicolon at the end of a line is a very common mistake that a lot of people make. So don't feel too bad about it if it happens to you. The good thing about this error message is that the more it occurs early on, the less it's going to happen in the future because you're going to learn from this mistake and you're going to always dot your I's and cross your T's and put semicolons at the end of each line of code. And hopefully after watching this video, you're now an expert on this error and you'll only ever leave off a semicolon one in a million lines of code. So if you found this video helpful, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Also, if you have any questions, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions of errors that you'd like us to talk about in future videos, you can also leave those in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.